Okay, so for this question, we can apply the energy balance equation, which is E dot in is equal to E dot out. If we, if we expand it, we have Q dot plus M dot H1 is equal to M dot H2. So Q dot here is the E transfer rate for the oil, okay? And M dot here is the mass flow rate of the oil. H1 is the in the enthalpy of the oil. And M, uh, H2 here is the in the en uh, exit enthalpy for the uh, oil. So if we do some arrangement here, we have Q dot is equal to M dot times H2 minus H1, which is equal to M dot times Cp times T2 minus T1. Cp is the specific heat for the oil. And T2 is the um, exit temperature for the oil, which is the um, final temperature for the oil. And T1 is the initial temperature for the oil, which is the inlet temperature for the oil. And then um, we know that the mass flow rate is given as uh, 2 kilogram per second. And the specific heat for the oil is 2.2 kilojoule per kilogram times degree Celsius. We know T2 is 40 degrees Celsius and T1 is 150 degrees Celsius. So now let's plug in back to the equation to determine the rate of heat transfer in the oil, which is equal to 2 kilogram per second multiplied by uh, 2.20 kilojoule per kilogram times degrees Celsius and then times 40 degrees Celsius minus 150 degrees Celsius and this will give us the rate of heat transfer in the oil is about negative 484 kilowatts which means that the oil is losing heat uh, at uh, 484 kilojoule per second okay so if the oil is losing heat that means the water is, is gaining the same amount of heat which is uh, 484 kilowatts okay with the sign is positive so therefore we can determine the uh, exit temperature for the water. So first we need to set that equation here, which is Q dot W plus uh, M dot W times H W1 is equal to M dot W times H W2. So Q dot W here is the, uh, heat, the rate of heat transfer for the water, and M dot W is the mass flow rate for the water. H W1 here is the initial enthalpy for the water, and H W2 here is the final enthalpy for the water. So if we do some arrangement here, eventually we have Q dot W is equal to M dot W times C P W and then times T W2 minus T W1. And then we'll have T W2 is equal to T W1 uh, plus Q dot W over M dot W times C P W. So T W2 here is the exit temperature of water when we need to determine. And T W1 here is the inlet temperature for the water. And we know Q dot W is the rate of heat transfer for the water. And M dot W is the mass flow rate. CPW is the specific heat for the water. So we know TW1 is given as uh, 22 degrees Celsius. Q dot W is 484 kilowatts. M dot W is 1.5 uh, kilogram per second. And the CPW is 4.18 kilojoule per kilogram times degree Celsius. So now let's plug in back to the equation to determine the exit temperature of the water, which is equal to 22 degrees Celsius plus 484 kilowatts over 1.5 kilogram per second and then multiply by 4.18 kilojoule per kilogram times degree Celsius. And this will give us the exit temperature for, temperature for the water is about uh, 99.19 degrees Celsius. And these are the answers for this question.